Okay. Hello and welcome again on the second Zoom to Total Freedom. It's second uh, key to Total Freedom. And we are so grateful that you all are here with us and that we are going to explore this topic more together because it's brilliant, everything and the awareness. I'm receiving so much new awareness, what, what awareness is while reading this book. And it's, it's really such a contribution and I'm so grateful. And I'm getting to the place where I really, um, like, like I really receive that freedom, like, wow. Uh, we will do some practical exercising during this call too, so you will be able to um, get yourself, like set yourself free um, from like uh, places where you are stuck and this second tool maybe can help you to unlock all the, those areas. Laura, hey, <laughs> hello. So yeah, yeah. and it's, um, it's for me, it's the same. Um, you have to get that even if you are doing access and using the tools for three, four, five, six years, um, it's really not about learning them. It's about practicing them and also exploring them into like deeper levels. And just um, every single time you use them, it's going to be something different. So uh, like uh, Josip, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm watching it, Victoria, she's crying. Let's be an interesting point of view and maybe she will expand. And hello everyone else who just joined us. Maya, for example, where are your dogs and girls? <laughs> it's so great to see your faces. Thank yeah. you. It's so nice when people are smiling back at you. Yeah. It's, it's just like, it's a completely different energy. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all these tools are really about, uh, like Josipa said, um, uh, before like what what i got is it's not like you hear that she's like reading the book and coming back to the first key all the time it's really not about learning to use this tool it's also about practicing and the more you practice the more you actually become the yeah. tool yeah this is the point like um you we have to actually become the tools and then it's super easy uh, to be them we don't have to like repeat them or cognitively like we have to practice them actually use them until we become them and then everything can then we are walking talking tools and yeah. we are changing the world uh, by being that and it's so cool and like we are really going to explore those because like i just remember when you mentioned that like in the book is written that um like they said that uh, he was a fantasist he was he was like uh, all the time looking for fantasies and I'm the same. I wasn't willing to lose all my fantasies, like what I was dreaming about or like imagining, especially in relationship and kind of that kind of stuff. And when you get to the place where you are committed to having total awareness and have no po point of view, your life actually gets better. And that's why we are all here today. Like you all are looking for um, like for improvement or like to make your life even better because you can because it's just a choice so let's go let's go through the yeah book. and even if we don't say better because yeah. someone could perceive that also as a judgment it's really about opening up just different possibilities mm -hmm. um some possibilities that weren't here before so we're really excited to go on this journey of discovering how everything is just an interesting point of view. Yeah, Meta, hey. Meta, <laughs> hello. Hello. And Christina is also here. Amazing. Okay, so we won't like read everything through the book right now. We will explain more to you today and also read, we have already read this uh, chapter again today before the Zoom. So we have marked like the, everything that we perceive uh, like that we would like to discuss with you or something and we will go through that and uh, your questions are really very welcome so yes let's create this together let's create this together what yeah. do you know like about being an interesting point of view what's your knowing about that and like where are you already being it and some and like we are not or something so yeah. share that and be the contribution you already are <laughs> Yeah, cool. So let's do this together. 
Okay. So to start with, like when we say everything is just an interesting point of view, um, I'm not sure what you perceive as an interesting point of view, but we might like just have a little definition for, for a start. So what is a point of view? It's really actually what the word itself means. It's a point from which you view at something, um, like a situation or, um, or anything. Um, and, and Gary here is explaining, like if you stand in front of the house and you ask somebody like, what color is this house? And you only see like two walls or something. Two sides of two, the house. Two sides of the house. Um, it, like you will automatically assume that the whole house is the same. It's like, it's the same as these two walls or like uh, two ankles or... Yeah, yeah, he's talking about this book, Fair Witness, and Fair Witnesses, they had a job to describing things as they were, to just actually seeing um, of what they see. And they would say, so this wall is this color, this wall is this color, and I cannot assume what other walls, what color other walls are. So, um, but our uh, natural reaction is to say, this house is this and this color. Mm -hmm. which is not really an awareness, but it's a point of view that we've taken. It's something that we've decided is true. We've come to a conclusion. Um, so, um, yeah. And how much are we looking at our lives from our point of view? And we assume that everyone else has the same point of view. And like sometimes in the situations when you talk with somebody, you are, you are trying to explain your point of view. And when you explain it, you automatically predict that they get, they, that they get it and they have from now on the same point of view as you have. But like no one will ever be able to see the life the same as you do. Like, and it's really, if you imagine like a thing in front of you, like um, you see it differently or I see it differently than Anna sees it. Like I, I see all your faces and this Zoom, I have different point of view than she has. And like, it's the same with you. But we don't have a point of view. Yeah. Well, we have an interesting point of we view. We have interesting Which is really of almost like no point of view, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, so, so when you like, if you're looking at something, for example, someone is standing in the middle of the street crying, and um, so you have this person in front of you, and you take a point of view, and you decide what this is, whether this is, um, yeah, this is good or bad, or there's something wrong with, with that, or you have to change that somehow. Um, when you like look at something from this point of view, you el eliminate all other points of view, and you compress the space to this one single point of view. So, um, so that's a limitation in itself. Yeah, and you also lock this person into that trauma and drama if you are having that point of view. So when we are being interesting point of view, we are actually such an invitation and the most attractive beings on the planet. And we, the change can occur super easy. Like I just had a session last week when the lady came to me, she has panic attacks for two years now. And she had, I don't know, um, she was really depressed and everything. And she, when she talked to me about that, I didn't buy to her story. I was like, I didn't felt, felt sorry for her or something. I was just the space of interesting point of view, like really present. And I didn't have point of view that this is bad or that this is that it's something wrong with her or that now I have to fix her or something. I was just the space where when I did where I didn't buy her story or make it real, so her life changed. Like she like the like she is now a different person. And this is amazing what we can be and what we can invite the world into. So um, yeah. can you maybe like Think of a situation where um, you were going into trauma and drama and uh, victim and feelings and emotions and um, some conclusions. And there was one person who was actually willing to not buy into what like your fantasy about that was. Um, and they were willing to be an interesting point of view. Can you remember an occasion like that? And just perceive what that Created. created in your universe. Yeah. For example, Josipa, <clears throat> you 
have to remember something. <laughs> uh, it's like really when you were in drama and like, for example, when I was in drama, when the police took my car and I call Anna and she started laughing, it was like, like all the drama was gone. It's like, like when people don't buy into the point of view you have, they change your reality. So uh, ask yourself every time, like, who can I call that won't buy my point of view, that won't yeah. make it real and true. And these people are like, can really be the best contribution at those moments. This really is like, for me, one of the biggest gifts of um, coming to access consciousness was to actually um, the willingness to have more people like this in my life who are actually willing to be this point of view, uh, interesting point of view. Um, and also looking from a space like, where can you be this for other people? Can you get that this is the gift that you can be that will actually change the planet? Because interesting point of view is not something that really exists a lot on this planet. So every time you are willing to be that for someone, you will actually change their life. Yeah, and it's so simple. And we will now do maybe some uh, practical ex exercises um, because I also what I acknowledge today while reading <laughs> this chapter is like that sometimes I was trying to pod and poke my point of view but there is a whole different universe that we can be it's just like when we try to pod and poke you know the clearing statement of access consciousness we are using a lot like when I acknowledge that I have some fixed point of view which was limiting me I try to pod and poke it but actually when you try to pod and poke something you already decide decided that this is like something like that this point of view is bad or it's not working or you already have a decision and conclusion about it so it's like really easier when you just uh, perceive the energy and change it into interesting point of view it's like the the change can be immediate yeah. and it's like yeah, yeah. if you want a bottom pocket you already had to make it solid yeah. in a way mm -hmm. Um, so doing interesting point of view that I have this point of view is, is actually completely different because um, when you do that, you realize that a, a point of view is nothing else but a point of view. It doesn't have to um, create any limitation. It doesn't have to be good or bad uh, or right or wrong. Point of view is just a point of view. Mm -hmm. And um, it doesn't, if you don't like buy into it or uh, align and agree or resist and react to it it just remains a point of view mm -hmm. and you can and then you have a choice with that mm -hmm. um, so I think like I really I think um, in order for you to really get the energy of interesting point of view that I have this point of view I think we need to practice a little bit yeah yeah let's practice are we so, going to do this yeah exercise? just get something um, that is stuck in you in any area of your life right now just get like be really present with like all the energies that like, are in are in your universe gary yeah. gary said like right now think about something that has been bugging you something that you can get free of like think of what were you thinking about mostly today like what what are the situation or people that are really bothering you that you cannot get free of them like, is this your job? Is this your ex-lover? Is this somebody? Like, what is that? Like, or it can be a feeling. A feeling? It can yeah. also be a feeling. Like yeah. sadness, um, upset, anger, um, fear, um, anxiety. <laughs> yeah, or <laughs> even overwhelm. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Like something that has been present in your universe. It could be stupid, slow people. It could be something to do with money. Money, money, money. It's something about money, maybe for you that it's like uh, <laughs> a lot of people smiling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, like, perceive that energy and look at that point of view right now and do interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Repeat that. Repeat that. <laughs> Come on. Uh, <laughs> repeat that few times and like it's sometimes it's not enough. It's not enough to repeat that like get really present with the energy of this situation of your money situation that is bothering you or something get really present with the situation and um now like re like 
We can do it together. We can do it together. Invite the energy of interesting point of view. And sometimes it's not enough to do it like one or two or three times. Sometimes it, it's required to be done for a hundred times. And it still takes, takes only a few minutes and the energy can shift for you. So, so do you have like nod or do like this thumbs up if you like if you perceive this energy? Yeah. Do you all get something that is... Do you all get something that has been bugging you? Yeah? They're not listening to us. <laughs> They're watching some telenovela or something. Like, they're like dogs watching television now. <laughs> it's already, they're already fried. They're like getting asleep because we are clearing a lot of unconsciousness. So, yeah, but anyway, like perceive something that you cannot get free of, like your money situation that is constant, that you are constantly worried about, or some people from your life, slow, stupid people, like uh, your coworkers, your, I don't know, you all have something and perceive the energy of that and look at that and do interesting point of view. I have that point of view. <sighs> Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this money problem. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, that I think that I have money problem. Interesting point of view, that I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, that I think that I cannot do that. Interesting point of view, that I have this point of view. Interesting point of view that I think that this man is controlling me. Interesting point of view that I have this point of view. Interesting point of view that I have this point of view. Interesting point of view that I think that this man can control me. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view that I think that I am the most stupid person on the planet. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view that I'm not getting this interesting point of view. Interesting point of view, <laughs> I'm having this interesting point yeah. of view. Interesting point of view, I believe any of this is actually mine. Yeah, interesting point of view that I believe that any uh, of this is actually mine. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. So you will perceive the energy shift. You will perceive something change. Like maybe you will get more space or it will just get different. They're yawning. <laughs> and then and then and then again, like when the energy changes, you are still present with that. And then you can still go, interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. And you actually don't have a you have you don't have to address a certain problem. You don't even have to know what it is. It can just be the energy that you're addressing. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Because how many times do we think we need to understand what's going on and to really get it and to get to the core of the problem? And we think that we need to like identify the limiting point of view. It's like you don't really have to. It's great to be present with that, but you can just do use the key for whatever energy comes up that is not you mm -hmm. and just do interesting point of view that I have this point of view. So how does it feel now? Like, like it's really, it's really so different. And um, we can run one, one clearing at that point. Yes. Um, there, are, there are a lot of clearings also in the book. So what fantasy and beingness are you using to squelch and suppress the quantum entanglement that would allow you to be interesting point of view? Everything that is times a gazillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine short boys and beyond. And we will explain yes. more what, what does the beingness mean? Anna, yeah, will, will we will, we will like, um, we will repeat the clearing um, uh, several times because it's like, it really applies. Um, addresses the energy of this and you perceive and enjoy the energy shifts yeah. <laughs> yeah um so what fantasy i think you all understand fantasy yeah and beingness so beingness is something that you do to prove your being 
um, and you're trying to prove that you are something. So you decide that you are a successful business person, or you decide that you are very feminine, or you, you decide that you are, I don't know, a good mom, um, or that you are a very loving, caring person. Like whatever you decide, it's like a role you take on um, and you limit yourself, like you limit your being to a beingness or more beingnesses. Um, but you're not like, it's always, it's always um, a fixed point of view. Then you will feel you can only be you when you are being like something that you have decided that you are. Yeah. Like you will only feel that you are being you when you were being you, mother. Like if you have decided that you are a good mother, it's a role you are taking. Or you will feel that you can only be you if you are a good business person. And you will limit yourself in that role or like, um, and yeah. it's like, what if you were just being you? Yeah. No matter how it looks like, how it is like every, every moment. Yeah. Oh. And you can only do interesting point of view when you're being you. Yeah. When you're doing beingness, you cannot be interesting point of view. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, if you're doing fantasy, any kind of fantasy at all, you're not being interesting point of view. And if you're doing beingness at all, you're not being interesting point of view. Mm -hmm. So this is what the clearing statement addresses. So what fantasy and beingness are you using to squelch and suppress the quantum entanglements? So what are the quantum entanglements? Anna, explain us. Yeah. This is something um, really cool, really cool. It is? Yeah. It's actually the way that energies interconnect uh, in this, uh, in this um, universe. Quantum entangle entanglement is what you have and what you use um, to connect with the creative, generative um, elements of the universe. So this is like, if we didn't have quantum, quantum entanglement, then we wouldn't have intuition and we, like, we really wouldn't be connected to everyone else. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like, um, the way I perceive it is like these strings of, little strings of energies that are uh, connecting all of us to each other. Um, so this is what quantum entanglements are. So we can perceive and, yeah, yeah. perceive also everything. Yeah. Um, these are like the creative generative elements of the universe, and yeah, you said that. If you didn't have quantum entanglements, you would not have psychic awareness, intuition, or the capacity to hear somebody else's thoughts. And so you do that. And you do that, right? <laughs> right? It's like, it's also, it's really important to get that, that actually you all have this capacity um, to perceive other people, to hear their thoughts or to feel their feelings. Um, and why this is important with this key is like, most of the points of view that you will have are the ones that you bought from other people. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's like today I came here um, to Nadia's place um, and as I was passing by the, um, the building where she lives, um, I saw those kids playing in the playground and I had this thought in my he head like, oh, it's really always um, shady in this playground. I've never seen sun here and it's always so cold. And then I was like, why am I thinking this? I never like, I know that kids don't mind at all, um, but it was like, oh, okay. It was just a thought. And there was like this woman walking in front of me a couple of meters and I met her in the elevator later and I said, this is such a nice um, place to live. And she said, yeah, but the problem is that playground is always in the shade and it's always so cold. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is the way, like if you are actually being present with all of these things, you just start to realize how many of these thoughts, feelings and emotions um, that end up being or that actually are um, mm -hmm. fixed points of view, we actually get from other people. Yeah, like 99% of them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. like, Isn't that good news? 99%. <laughs> None of that is yours. None of that is yours. You are like picking like thoughts, feelings and emotions from like everywhere around and from everyone else. So, and also because there is a lot of you who do bars, and um, run bars to other people. I would just read this, what Gary said. If you are doing bars, 
from interesting point of view, people can change. But if you are doing bars from the point of view that you want them to change, that is not interesting point of view. You have to allow people to receive whatever they receive, however they receive it. You shouldn't desire somebody to change. So it's really like, um, it's <laughs> um, like, like for me, when I started, like I, I, I have this desire that I change everybody else's life by running their bars. And I wasn't in the question or I wasn't in interesting point of view. I just assumed that everyone desires to change something. Like maybe people don't desire to change at all. And like what if we, when we are being interesting point of view, um in all the conversations and also when we are running bars on somebody it's like they can receive the most change if they are willing to because we are not projecting anything we are not expecting anything we are just opening space of different possibilities that they can choose if they desire to and it's really like because i see a lot of you maybe some of you are also bars facilitators so please never buy uh, or never try to change something in other people or like, um, yeah, force them into changing. You will be the greatest contribution if you will be the tool of interesting point of view. Yeah, you cannot actually do facilitation when you're not being interesting point of view. That's one thing. And the other thing, it's not only for the like bars practitioners yeah. or facilitators, like you can just um, take a moment and look at how many people in your life you would actually like to change. Mm -hmm. Is it maybe your partner? Uh -huh. Is it maybe your co-workers? Is it maybe your friend? Is it maybe your children? Is it maybe your boss? <laughs> like, Is it maybe you? And how many or your body? Yeah, and how many problems of other people's you desire to solve? Yeah, like... Have you heard about hashtag not my problem? Yeah. <laughs> have you heard about interesting point of view that I have this point of view? Because if you have a point of view that someone has to change, like is that awareness or is that just a fixed point of view? How superior are you being by that? <laughs> and I don't know if you, if like, if you had this experience in your life, but once you, um, want people to change or you tell them that they have to change will that actually happen <laughs> like if somebody tells you meta you have to change this will you do that <laughs> no no if you're being interesting point of view are you giving them more space so they can choose whatever they want to choose like they can choose something different or they can choose the same and it's okay it's just a choice Maybe think about your kids, like if you have teenagers or like even older kids or even like, I don't know, it's like when I remember when my parents wanted me to change something, I will never do that. Um, so it's like when they didn't have a point of view, I was more willing to be aware and choose what will actually work for me. So it's like, what space can you open up also for your children or like if you are willing to be interesting point of view? Yeah. And I really like I really like it how Gary says, I guess the reason this key has worked so well for me is that I'm not interested in fantasy, I'm interested in total awareness. So it's really about just committing and demanding to have total awareness and just like get rid of like all the stories and all the fantasies um and all the the wishing and everything that we've done so far and just like look at everything that there is. Mm. Yeah, what if we just read those two paragraphs like about fantasies and awareness where De Gary and Dane uh, explain a lot, Manuel. <laughs> um, and like, because it's, um, it's really, I can find myself in that. And I was all the time hoping and dreaming and doing fantasy and actually like uh, how faster can we change something and uh, how like our life can really get better if we commit to total awareness. So what if we just read this? Yeah. Okay. Will you be Gary? I will be Gary today. Okay. Yay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like where do we start? 
we start here. From here, yeah. So, um, like I said, I guess the reason this key has worked so well for me is that I'm not interested in fantasy. I'm interested in total awareness. If you're not functioning from I want total awareness, no matter what that entails, you cannot do these uh, things. It may be that you can't leave the ten keys because you're still functioning from some fantasy or some beingness as though that's going to get you where you want to go or give you want what you want to have. So um, this is interesting. Dane, Dane, said, this, Dane says, this is interesting because I was interested in fantasies and I was interested in fantasies too. At the same time, I was all, also interested in total awareness and awareness has eventually destroyed most of the fantasies I had and life is getting better. <laughs> I look back and see all the places where I was interested in fantasies, especially with regard to women and relationships. That was the area where it happened for me. Whenever I didn't know what else to do, which was often, I would draw upon interesting point of view. I made the choice to sit there, be with the energy that came up, no matter what it was, and do interesting point of view. I have that point of view. The, exer the exercise we did before. So when I did that, whatever was in the fantasy and or the beingness and whatever seemed valuable about it dissipated. dissipated. The more I did interesting point of view, the more I felt like I, I could be in the presence of anything and not be swallowed swallowed up by it. If you are not doing interesting point of view, if you are not being interesting point of view, then every point of view that comes along that you might have charge on owns you. Yeah. Did like, you hear that? Did you hear that? Every point of view you have that you have charge on, like positive, negative, polarity, owns you. You are stuck with that point of view and you cannot perceive anything else. Like watching the house from that perspective, you cannot perceive. Yeah. No. And it will create your reality. Like every fixed point of view that you have actually creates your reality. Your reality. Um, so for me, like this is a biggie actually to get that whenever you're just not being an interesting point of view, like any you get stuck. point of view will own you. Mm -hmm. You will not have all the possibilities and all the space and all of you. Um, so let's do the clearing statement again. Again. Okay. So what fantasy and beingness are you using to squelch and suppress the quantum entanglement that would allow you to be interesting point of view? Everything that is times a good deal. Will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right or wrong, good and bad, bad and bad, cool and nine, short voice and beyond. <laughs> um, so do you have any questions? I mean, I know you do, but who's first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, or you can share with us what you have acknowledged and maybe we can like yeah. explore more or what can you ask that we that will change your life right now are you willing like it takes courage to ask question and when you ask it you cannot avoid the change it's like um, what can you change now even if it's free zoom you can still yeah. receive it Manuel well hey 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 how are you <laughs> we hear you hey. you can hear me we yeah. can hear you okay we can see you but we can hear you uh, no, 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 you can see me as well yeah yeah uh, how are you doing girls oh very awesome. good uh, it's getting spacier it's getting yeah, better, really. and better. <clears throat> another day in paradise yeah <laughs> I see that you're actually working in the quantum field. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. It's nice to be connected in the quantum field internet. You agree? Everything is possible, thanks to interesting Nadia. Interesting point of view. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. If we agree, then we are not doing interesting point, point of view. view. But, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so th th that is synchronicity. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, yeah, no, I just enjoy it because actually 
You look I, like I, you have your hair. Yeah, like, it's funny. It's like, it's really funny. Sorry. You're yeah, like yeah, unicorn. Yeah. You're like unicorn right now. Yeah, my, oh, it's a trunk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Yeah, 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 I see now. It's an elephant. Okay. Yeah. No, I just jo joined to your, your, your meeting because I was a little bit late. So I'm probably I missed some part of your presentation. Yeah. But actually, I know what you're doing. So it's very nice to see you, Nadia, for a long time that we didn't see each other. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you too. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, so do, you have, quest do yes. you have a question? Um, generally, have no, yeah. I'm generally listening your presentation on what you have to say. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Thank you for being yeah. here. Yeah. Thank thanks you. for joining us. Yeah. And thanks. Nice to see you. Thanks for your invitation. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what else is possible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Everything is possible. Interesting point of view. Where was the synchronicity now? <laughs> So, just keep going. Yeah, I think okay. that somebody else maybe has some questions for you. Yeah, I okay. think they actually have. Like, even if you cannot, if you cannot formulate a question, you can also address um, some fixed point of view that you have. Or like, is there a place where you think you are not being interesting point of view, or you think that you are being interesting point of view, but you actually aren't? Hmm. Or like think of the places in your life where you are stuck. Like what, what have you decided that you cannot change or that is a problem for you? What if you can apply the interesting point of view in, to that and see how it changes? Like okay. so, so um, like we could look at all these different areas. Usha! Hey. Hey. Yeah, you would try. I knew you have a question. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, well, I don't have a question. It's just uh, a fixed point know, of view. <laughs> no, first I have to say thank you. Thank You're you welcome. because, you know, I was uh I was uh having some time for myself, so I said, "Okay, let's uh, check what's going on on Facebook and you are already from I don't know from which hour but I was uh, following you so it was really nice to follow you <laughs> uh, a good energy um, but but today I had some were you following us or following your knowing <laughs> well that's that's one very nice <laughs> uh, well I don't know I was just we don't uh, require followers we really require leaders <laughs> we are looking for leaders and you are a leader, Ursa. Yeah, of course. I am the leader. Yay! <laughs> Yay! You are the leader um, of your life. Yeah, of course. Seeking for more awareness. <laughs> yeah, every minute. Um, well, I just wanted to say that today was a really interesting day because um, um, first I decided to go to the COP and it was like wow um and i was like okay how can i you know well not how but um it's like you want to share this to everyone and it comes a really really uh, a space that you want to give to give to all the planet when when you decide when you choose for something Mm -hmm. And but you very quickly come to uh, significance, if you understand. Do you come because... to significance, or do other people come to significance? Well, yeah, other. <laughs> <laughs> but well, nobody knows that. But uh, it's like significance. You 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 come to the significance very quickly, or to the conclusion, or anything like this. You you stuck very quickly on that and it's uh it's for the being in the awareness it's like you have to train that muscle and it's really um just for me just for fun never tell anyone that muscle 
Yeah. Have you yeah, asked the question like with who can I share this that this will even expand? Or have you been more in the question, who can I tell that will try to stop me so I can prove how potent I am? I won't let them stop me anyway. <laughs> well, it was more like, you know, being very, you know, uh, being very happy and having mm -hmm. this space. And it was not like, you know, who can stop me? Nobody can stop me. I know, um, I know. I was... Like, yeah, talking because like sometimes I'm consciously I'm doing that. Like, uh, I'm just like, I'm not present. I'm in conclusion. So if I'm happy, everyone will be happy because I wish good for all. I wish uh, that all, they all will have the space I am in now and blah, blah, blah. And actually, I'm not present, really. I'm not in the question. And like, really, what if you can just ask, okay, with who can I share this? joy and space and like um and yeah who would who will be able to receive it actually and you can like and be willing to look at that also and uh if you like uh, if you are around people who are getting um frustrated about you being so happy be even more happy and they will be even more frustrated or uh like and how much fun can you have <laughs> And also, yeah yeah um yeah thank you for that it was also for the for uh for contribution like you know uh you ma you make the conclusion or any yeah. expectation very quickly yeah and i'm really grateful for your question actually because we haven't like we haven't discussed this yet and i think it's really important so a fixed point of view is always um a judgment that you've made and the judgments are negative or positive so even when you do a positive uh, judgment about something like like you could make a really positive judgment about your choice to go to the cop class so this is where you make it significant this is where you make a conclusion um this is where you make it a fantasy and you're just not being present with everything that this choice is so every time you do a polarity you're not being interesting point of view yeah, and it's interesting when you are uh, when you are telling this right now, there comes the energy that you you know it's stuck right in the chest, and mm -hmm. it gets like you know right this polarity, and you just don't know what to do with this, and then you are in some kind of a doubt, okay, and then you go, okay, is it light, is it heavy, or interesting point of view? Because I think that interesting point of view it's one of the the really. Uh, powerful tools but uh for me uh my point of view is that i really forget on these tools yeah I really forget it's what because... we said in the beginning like interesting point of view is something that you actually become mm -hmm. it's like with all these tools that we have you don't like get into a situation and go like okay wait now i have to think like which tool do i use here like nadia said that and anna said that and i read that in the book it doesn't go like that. Like you need to like be really present and practice and use the tools that you have so that you become them, so that you don't have to think about them anymore. You don't even have to use them anymore. You, you are just being those tools. An interesting point of view for me was, for me personally, was one of the biggest challenges. But by practicing and practicing and practicing, I'm really getting better at, at that. Yeah. And it's also interesting, for example, just one, you know, just uh, st starting to speak, for example, just, you know, uh, speaking, it can be, you know, okay, I cannot speak because I don't have anything to, to say. But then you can see that everyone has something to say because we have uh, always something, you know, that we want to uh, give out or something pops out and uh, but we have this doubt on uh, ourselves or anything and if we just be the interesting point of view we can you know participate even more <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it's not like you don't have anything to say maybe sometimes you just know, don't know how to put it into words but we can yeah. perceive the question in you in your universe and we are so really uh, so grateful that you are asking that and also like um, like what you were talking about before, 
um, like even you are talking about doubt, you have done foundation, so you can remember that doubt is like a distractor implant. So you just can acknowledge it and go beyond it. And like say, fuck you very much doubt. Yeah. I'm not um, be like having you anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or use key number one, would an infinite being choose doubt? Yeah. And, and would an infinite being choose a uh, not interesting point of view? Mm. And also, if you perceive the energy somewhere in your body, you can just grab it and pull it like half a meter in front of you. And then it's not a part of you anymore. Then you can be more present with it as an interesting point of view. And you can just blow it away. Or like... Uh, or like this, right? Yeah, and expand you just SOP yourself. Yeah. yeah, and like it's never well, yours. We can do it for you a little bit yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's never yours, it's never ever yours. Like, who does this belong to? How like much are you perceiving the doubts that other people have? Um, like about anything else, and like you are picking them and think it's yours. Like, and how much are you perceiving the change? that it's happening for you and the change you have already tapped into and like the like the space you have become and everything so it's like you cannot define yourself as anything as you can define yourself in the past so it's like it's different and um what if you can just start enjoying in that and yeah 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 it's really like like just for me, just for fun, never tell anyone. Because with this space of excitement and possibilities that you are perceiving, and you go to someone who is not an interesting point of view, what they will do, they will like squelch mm. and squeeze um, your space mm. into something that feels really heavy on your chest, for example. Yeah, like when you're being that magic, that big space, and then you go to someone who is that space, that like little space, that little bubble, and you want them to understand you and get your space, you have to contract the whole your space to deliver it to them and the magic is gone. So it's like really being the question with who can I share that? And sometimes it's also with no one. And yeah, like, and also like Ursha, is it for me sometimes like all this excitement that really grows in your space with the choices that you are making and the, with the possibilities that you can actually perceive. Sometimes I get this feeling that I'm going to explode. And by like, just like sharing this with other people, I think that, you know, this will go away a little bit because it's really intense. So would you be willing to actually start enjoying in the intensity and discomfort that is actually you being you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if it doesn't allow you that. Will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, yes. around, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine short boys and beyond. And this was just for Ursha. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, <laughs> no one else, yes, uh, of you have yeah. that. No other, post. yeah. Well, it was like you know, I, I, I was also giving this, you know, uh, SOP on um, to, to uncover it for also for others that are you know, participating this this Zoom, mm. you know, you know, <laughs> yeah. okay. Of course, of course, <laughs> that's why we call you a gift, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the same to you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> like, Mita, did you have a question? Meta, we know that you are already asking, but like, let's put this into words so people won't know how psychic are we. <laughs> Meta, we hear you already, but just like, like let, let's make some words, just because it's fun. <laughs> yes, I did. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. We can hear yes. you like that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, I, I just wanted to um, ask um, about this interesting point of view. For sure, we have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And um, you said that we cannot clear I them. Hope, like, uh, what conclusion is that? Unfortunately, we have a lot of them. 
Uh. Interesting point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just, just yes, but so, uh, I was just thinking. Every time you're saying this is it, like when you're ask, you're not asking a question. You are actually like creating, creating a fixed point of view. Yeah. Like what I, are we mentioning? That it's not like to make fun of you or like to yeah. I don't know. Is that it's really like the invitation? Yeah, yeah. Like Gary said um, that every word you say becomes the law of the universe and becomes the law of your life. I mean, what gets created. So like be really aware um, about every word you speak, about everything you say, because we so easily create um, with the words we are speaking. So like, let's create the life we desire with the words we are saying. And yeah. yeah. And um, you're not being wrong. Like it's really not wrong. It's just really a great example of how, how like subtle is, it is. How, how, you know, um, we think we know where we're doing not interesting point of view, but, you know, there are layers of that. So um, we just wanted to point that out. So, so we just wanted your energy, Meta, you already opened so, like, such a new space so we can uh, explore more. <laughs> so you see what contribution you are, all of you, Josipa, Irena, Patricia, Jana, Danai, Daria, Rita, user, Petra, <laughs> Yoshi, Cristina, Milena, Lydia, Manuel, Vesna, Maya, uh, and like and everyone, everyone else will be listening yeah, in the future. later on. Like we are all like right now con contribution with your space and the energy because you all know something that no one else know. And it's like, um, it's really the energy that gets created. So please, please, please acknowledge the contribution you already are, not just to this Zoom, but like in your life, to people in your life, to this world with your energy, like... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah how cool is that <laughs> okay meta you can continue meta, now you can ask okay it. thanks <laughs> no no you already you you already answered it okay i have to i have to just stop. i just have to stop that's it with all those uh points of view i mean i just uh, have yeah, to just look at uh, the interesting point of view Yes. Just you using this you can tool. Just practice. It's actually yeah. like really simple. You don't have to get to a place. You don't even have to get to a place where you are stuck. You can just say, okay, so today I will practice being interesting point of view. And you sit down and you are present with everything there there is. And you just go interesting point of view that I have this point of view, interesting point of view that I have this point of view. And you do this for so long until you can perceive like, the dense energy dissolving and just getting more space and ease and joy. And you can even write down your thoughts or you can ask yourself, okay, what do, what would I like to create? If I were truly creating my life, what I truly desire, like how much money do I desire per month and blah, 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 everything. And then ask yourself, okay, what are my points of view that are not allowing this to actualize? And like, um, you can like, for example, if we take this example of money situation, okay, I desire that much money per month. And then you write, okay, what fixed points of view are stacking me or like are um, keeping me that I cannot create that. So I, and my points of view will be like, I have to change the job. I have to promote more. I have to blah, blah, blah. I have to win the lottery and then put everything down. And then for each of that points of view, like hundred times repeat, Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view that I yeah. think that I have to change the job. Interesting point of view that this is the only way I can receive money in this life. Interesting point of view that I can receive money only for wor from working. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view. And like you will perceive that how like you are creating the space between molecules and like you are opening like you are inviting new possibilities and melting those limitations and places where you have been stuck. Yeah. I think actually, Nadia, that this is a really good idea for homework. Complain. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like one brain. So this is your good team. Be present with the points of view and write them down and then just do interesting point of view. And I know like most of you probably already get this, but it doesn't hurt to say it more times. Like when you use access tools, you don't do it from your head, but 
you just do it with your barrier barriers down and you do it with the whole like being and space of you and so you just like do it more from here than from here yeah like put your presence in your belly or in your solar plexus because it's like there is a theory like how can i say this word i am frightened theory <laughs> theory. <laughs> theory and there is actually energetically practice like when we be that and this yeah. is like what we are going to invite you more so like we would really love the two all of you join us in the next eight calls we are having uh, the zoom course each tuesday we are going to have more of those kind of generative um, conversations and explorations and you, we so desire that you all are engaged in that that we explore this together it's not like the zoom when we blah 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 but it's like the invitation we can be also for you and you can be for uh, all of us and it's like a co-creation so like we are doing next eight zoom calls for 88 euros so 11 euros per call and it's like really going to be exploration and with these 10 keys you can change and unlock everything and you can apply them to everything that is going on in your life and we are going to look at them because <laughs> some of you may know them but like you see we are doing them from like a lot of different perspectives so you get more clarity on them and it's like really just that we don't forget to invite you because yeah. it's like and really also like in this uh, second chapter gary says that um the 10 keys to total freedom are actually what you will get to with 90 or or like 99 percent of the situations when you're being stuck so whenever you're being stuck like you can always pull out one of the keys or more of them and use them and it will just give you more space of other possibilities. And he also says that if you use them uh, one by one for six months, you will be free of like everything that's limiting you like right now at this moment. So if you perceive your life and in six months, yeah and like how many of you have point of view that six months it's it's like a lot and how many of you went right now just went into point of view okay i'm not limited so i don't need that it's like even those are fixed points of view so how funny are we and like yeah it's really not about fixing your lives but actually creating something that is far greater yeah creating than what than what you currently have yeah creating more space between molecules so you can change everything with ease you can upgrade actually like not from the space of judgment but like upgrade your life and um engage with more possibilities in all ways like in like beyond your imagination actually like um so yeah you can you know you know that you know um and uh, perceive the energy um follow your knowing and Yana is showing her face. Oh, Yana. <laughs> Yana. Hi. Hey, how cool is that? Like, wow. Um, and it's also really not just about us and our lives. Like what I've been really looking into like this couple of weeks after um, our CF in Rome and the conversations about actions for futures, it's really not about like fixing our problems. Um, it's really, um now like i'll make it a question is it now the time to start looking for different possibilities to make a more sustainable future for this planet like for everything on this planet wow i got goosebumps goosebumps yeah. every time yeah we are talking about that and it's really um what future you desire to see in like five years ten years hundred years and are you desired to live in the world where there is more consciousness and awareness and like what if this starts with you choosing that and being that and creating that with yeah. every step you are making yeah and also like one more thing from this second chapter is like even with when you are being interesting point of view um where everybody else is being a fixed point of view like you really make it hard for them to stay stuck in that fixed point of view. So when you are doing interesting point of view, you're actually making life harder for 500 people who would like to stay limited. Mm -hmm. So 
like and a knowledge what yeah. gift can we we already are to each other you already are to each other some of you know you you and like it's like when you talk with somebody who has who is being interesting point of view like like a knowledge how your life change immediately when somebody is not buying into your problems or and it's just a space for you and like how many times have you already been there to somebody and like perceive the gratitude and the change that like that has created and also when you have been around somebody who has that space of interesting point of view for you it's it's really amazing it's beyond this reality it's actually new reality already so what else is possible and yes. what are the next eight keys we can yeah. explore together. So thank you for being here. Thank you for joining thank us you. tonight. Thank you for showing us your film. Hey, Manu Manuel, do you have yeah. a question? No, no, no. I'm uh -huh. just okay. saying hello to you. Really yeah. So we'll send you the recording and we'll send you a link where you can register to join us for the next um, eight calls. Um, and it's just you it's will every time, yeah, every time receive recordings, and yeah, so we are okay. so grateful. May I ask I'm something? so happy that I see Mita. a lot of people I haven't seen Mita. for a while. Mita has a question, Mita? yeah, one more question, okay? Sure. Okay, what about if you are uh talking to, to others mm -hmm. and uh, they are telling you their story and you're in an interesting point of view and uh, usually they don't like that what yeah. to do how to interesting Just... point of view why where have you decided that they that they have to like it it's, where are you trying it's, to it's not them? it's not it's not that i have a problem that they don't like me but uh what about if i have to work with them or uh, so i have to i have to do steps with uh like in um, uh, then just ask yourself okay what do i have to do? like ask yourself actually what do what i desire to create here in this specific situation like what do i desire to create here and then ask yourself okay what do i have to be to create that and as the energy be interesting point of view don't buy their points of view you don't have to say that aloud in a conversations just like okay. be that energy so you will melt them and you will melt their fixed points of view energetically. Like uh, be willing to be wrong also. Like so they won't have to be in the position where they have to prove something. And like be the change energetically you can be. Yeah. And you already are. Be the difference and like um, also be willing to have fun with embarrassing them. Yeah. Because you are changing their lives and you are changing the world. world by being that so because i was avoiding to embarrass people and now when i i am willing to have fun with that like i i see like uh how easier i can change something and create something so yeah, yeah. that's what i would say to the energy you were asking like this is like and also okay. and Rita, i would look at what what uh fixed points of view i still have that, that that's creating um their response as not liking it and also I would try to get rid of my uh, expectations of um, how they um, have to change or how they have to react and what the result, what, the, what result am I actually uh, wishing for. And also you need to, like, you really need to get this. When you are truly being interesting point of view, when you're not being it from your head, but when you're truly being an interesting point yeah. of view, um, you will be a gift for this person. They might not like it today and they might not like it tomorrow, but they will, like, even if they never acknowledge it, you will change their life yeah, by I being an interesting point of view, I even got... if they never get that. People will, like, sometimes even when you change okay. somebody's life, they won't tell you. But like you will definitely usually affect, they, they usually, and you are affecting others by being what you be in every moment. We affect so many people, we are not even acknowledging. And like this, what Anna said is just so brilliant. I got goosebumps. I just have to recommend you that you listen to the recording and do everything that Anna said first okay. and then go to my thing. <laughs> <laughs> because you have no expectations, no projections, no points of view. You are the space. 
like from where the change can actually occur. And then you go to the question, what do I actually desire to create here? What contribution can I be? Like, what do I need to be to create that? And be whatever it requires to be, like without point of view, be willing to be everything and have no point of view. Like yeah. go beyond this beingness. I, you have decided I'm like that, um, like, I don't know, that kind of teacher. So I am always behaving like that. Like be willing to change also. Like don't have a point of view. Don't have fixed point of view about what you have to be or like what is appropriate to be. Like yeah. be what will create the most yeah. change. Like and, and being a leader, like being a leader uh, on this world, like a leader of your business or a leader of your life, um, means being willing to receive everything, like everything, including judgment, including rejection, including like everything. Yeah. So everywhere where you're not willing to be that kind of a leader in your life, will you uh, uncreate and destroy all of that? Right and wrong, good and bad, yes. fun and fog, all nine short boys and beyond. And you just open a space where we can just explain something more. It's like everything that is projected, projected at you, also the energy of anger. If you are willing to receive everything without point of view, it will actually contribute to your life. Like when we are willing to receive everything when we are not avoiding to receive anything like when we are not putting those walls and hiding ourselves alone behind them like everything that is projected at you like if like a friend of yours is angry at you and you put down all the barriers and are willing to re receive the energy of anger with interesting point of view you actually discharge this energy and this energy can be such a contribution to your yeah. life also. You exponentialize your willingness to receive. Yeah, and you are also changing, like you are showing other people, I, I mean, you are inviting them to change. They cannot be angry if you are not buying their anger and if you are not putting the barriers up. So all energies, if you are willing to receive all energies, good, bad, ugly, right, wrong, I don't know, um, light, um, all energies with interesting point of view, like they will, like your life will expand tremendously, like, like because you will discharge the, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and you will receive um, uh, any, like you can receive anything, anything can be contribution if you are willing to be no point of view, yeah. nothing can like harm you or something. So Mita, I have a question for you. Would you be willing to be an interesting point of view about being a bitch? Or about yes. being nice? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll leave you with that. Yeah. <laughs> For the pocket later. <laughs> okay. Cool. cool. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Yeah. See you next Maybe. Tuesday. Register tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See you. See you. See you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs>